Introduction Real beauty Helen Keller once said, Beauty is not always seen but is felt in the heart. Beauty is the trait that can be found in anyone or anything. It can be defined in many different ways. The definition of beauty may differ with each individual's way of thinking. What can be beautiful to one person may not be beautiful to the next person. Most of the people define beauty to describe a person's physical appearance, which is considered to be outward appearance. It would typically be considered the face, skin and body figure. Physically attractive people are known as beautiful and those without outward beauty normally meet the society's standard or definition of beauty. These people are usually tamed for it. Beauty doesn't always have to mean outward appearance of a person. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Real beauty is not conformed to the conventional beauty standards, but it is to one's inner self and the person who you really are. Real beauty is from the inside and it is more important than one's external appearance. Beauty is the illumination of your soul. One looks good with external looks but is better known for the inner features of personality which is based on one's spiritual, emotional and intellectual qualities. Inner beauty is something to which a person needs to pay attention to because all deeds and actions are drawn from one's inner self. Hence, it is important to acknowledge one's inner beauty and to improve oneself in order to lead a successful life. A reading from the Holy Bible, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. Do not adorn yourselves outwardly by braiding your hair and by wearing gold ornaments or fine clothing. Rather, let your adornment be the inner self with the lasting beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in God's sight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Now let us hear a few tips about inner beauty. True beauty is born through the actions and the aspiration and the kindness we offer to others. Be generous. As simple as the word is, it's its reality. Being generous enhances the perception you receive from what you give. Be the real you. You're beautiful if you truly believe that you are. What everyone sees is the reflection of who you are on the inside. Hence, it's the internal beauty that matters and not the external. Third point, push the negativity away. With the fashion world globalizing, you may think a generous physique or a V-shaped face makes one attractive. However, research has found that whatever you focus on shapes your brains. A positive attitude goes a long way in fixing your self-image. Eliminate your negative thoughts about your body because your thinking becomes stronger and habitual. So, reverse your mind and tell yourself that you are beautiful. Easy, isn't it? Fourth point, smile more. Appreciate your best assets that's plastered on your face. Go ahead and smile. Appreciate this gift of life without any sarcasm or wrong thinking as this will give your life a fine purpose of living. Remember, outer beauty can give you a glance. So, smile with your heart cause it's the inner reflection that makes someone to stay. I am not a handsome guy, but I can give my hand to someone who needs help. Beauty is in heart, not in face. Quoted by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Dear Lord, help us to recognize what is eternal and what is temporary. Our bodies and faces will be altered by the circumstances and time. 
but with our eyes fixed on you, a deeper beauty can shine through. We pray that you would help us to see where you find beauty and teach our children to do the same. Lord, you are the glory and splendor of my soul. Your beauty is awe-inspiring and radiant in every way. Come live in me and shine through me so that others will see you transforming beauty in my life. I offer myself to you, dear Lord, as an instrument of your glory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Thank you and have a nice day. Dedicate our lives anew to service, truth, and love. Put on my faith and courage, we fight the goodly fight to do our best beneath our crest. To